What's up, Capricorn? Welcome to your July reading. This is for Capricorn, Summer and Ice and Venus. We're going to be seeing what messages need to come through for you for the month of July. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on. I hope that you're doing well. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information for that's in the description down below. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. And with that being said, we're going to get right into this reading. We already have the Death card coming out along with the Knight of Pentacles. So already what I'm feeling for you, Capricorn, in the month of July is that there are changes that have been taking place um, for a while now, for weeks, months, even going on years, right? Change is always happening. It's happening. It's inevitable. Everybody's going through changes. Earth's going through changes, you know. But there is more like a significant change that's been taking place in your personal life, but it's been gradual. It hasn't been like a dramatic, like, oh shit, my life has changed. And like, you blink your eyes and everything has completely morphed into something else. Like, it's been gradual, but it seems like in July, Eight of Wands just came out. Um, it's seems like the changes are starting to pick up we also have the queen of cups and the ten of cups reversed all right five of wands ace of pentacles justice and the three of cups at the bottom of the deck so um yeah capricorn this looks like it's pretty positive in the month of july if you've been feeling unhappy with current circumstances i do see that that's going to turn around for you especially if this is revolving around the home life or a relationship if things have been kind of rocky or emotional or just like where you've been feeling unhappy i do feel like there will be some sort of resolution and balance is taking place here with the justice card okay i see that there's an opportunity to bring job to bring balance, to bring justice. I want to say jalance. Balance plus justice is jalance. <laughs> um, no, there's a situation in July that is finally being brought into balance. I also see that you could be receiving some sort of opportunity for more money or there's going to be some sort of positive reward or good news that's coming in and it looks like you're celebrating with the three of cups it looks like there's some sort of celebration good news that you're going to be just like wanting to share the good vibes the good energy with friends and family and just seems like it's really positive especially after such a stressful chaotic time with the five of wands maybe you're dealing with a lot of pressure a lot of drama or maybe you've been dealing with competition and some sort of way maybe you've been actually competing in a competition shout out to my competitors out there i don't know maybe it could be any kind of competition like it could, <laughs> but like for some it's like maybe there's like a competition coming up and you win oh congrats okay i don't know who that's for specific message for someone out there but if you have a competition and you've been like nervous and you've been like preparing and um Oh, I just feel like this is going to be really positive. I think that there's going to be something that you're going to celebrate regarding that. So whoever that's for, that message is for you. Congrats. It's amazing. And you're going to be so, so happy. And it looks like your, your hard work and effort is really paying off. Okay. So just stay focused, stay dedicated, keep preparing, keep training, right? Believe in yourself, believe in the impossible. But I feel like there is going to be a really positive reward for you at the very end of that. So that's for someone out there. All right. Um, yeah, it just seems like finally you're getting back into alignment with where you're meant to be, where you're supposed to be, you're feeling at peace, you're having trust, you know, you're not really rushing into anything too, too crazy, you're just kind of like slow and steady, wins the race, and I'm just gonna stay patient and consistent and dedicated here with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, you're not, you're not missing a single step, you are very grounded and you're very, very um determined to get to that end goal that destination and it seems like you know the winds are with you kind of like you know when you're on a plane and let's say it's like an hour flight okay like just the easiest right it's an hour flight but the winds are in your favor so actually okay it's 30 minutes instead of a whole hour because the winds are helping you pushing you so like you're all right on track is what i want to say you're right on track and it almost like it's like, it's like you're whoa i can't even speak i'm so excited i have so much energy you guys um you get closer you reach your destination quicker than you thought you were going to and you're gonna be like oh shit like it's all happening so quickly, so fast. Like it was a slow kind of transition at first, but then it's like you're picking up the pace. Something's picking up the pace and it's just, it's like awesome. It's so nice. It's so positive. Um, and yeah, I feel like money is not gonna be an issue for you. I feel like your money's looking on point. Um, 
good vibes with your friends and family i do feel like for those that have been kind of you know struggling in your relationships it's been a little bit rocky maybe you haven't been feeling the most positive or optimistic it does seem like there's a change in that too um even just like a change in your perspective or your emotions about a situation are changing um so that's good let's see is there anything else i'm feeling from this nah it feels like that's the gist of it so let's dive into this let's <laughs> i have so much energy let's dive into this let's see what's going on what are these changes for capricorn summarizing venus time of the death card for capricorn in july it's like you're getting so close because she's pregnant in this card right she oh my goodness the lighting maybe let me just <laughs> i hate to do like last minute adjustments but maybe is that better okay i think that might be better the exposure y'all of my camera anyways um the death card coming out here she's pregnant oh there we go she's pregnant and it's kind of like something that has been in the works or has been growing or developing whether this is something like an idea or something actually physical it seems like july is going to be the month where you're giving birth to this thing and it might even be literal for those who are pregnant maybe you're giving birth to a little cancerian or a little leo baby so congrats on that for whoever resonates with that message right but um okay let's clarify this kind of death for capricorn in the month of july nine of pentacles reverse coming out you're getting your stability back you're getting your independence seven of cups you've got a lot of options here okay what else we got okay all right um three of pentacles and the Six of Cups, Chariot Reversed, Nine of Pentacles Reversed, hold on. Yeah, you're getting your confidence back, you're getting your independence back, because I, I see here there is a bit of a struggle or a little bit of a lack in the recent past here with the Chariot Reversed and the Nine of Pentacles Reversed, almost like you felt stuck, like you didn't know how to move forwards or you weren't quite sure if you're on the right track, there were some doubts, maybe there were some fears, or maybe there was just some setbacks that you were experiencing that was getting in the way of um, your manifestations from coming in or you finally achieving some sort of goal or bringing in some sort of job or bringing in some sort of money or some sort of wish fulfillment there was a delay and the delay could have been external factors you know the world and circumstances or maybe it was just within you maybe it was a little bit of a mixed bag right but i see that's what's coming to an end so if you've been kind of struggling if you've been feeling stuck or you've been feeling like you haven't had any options that's about to change for you in the month of july seven of cups you got so many options as to where you can go and where you can take your life and yeah okay so at times it could feel a little bit overwhelming not really sure what to do where to go you got all these different paths that you could take and so that that can be a bit overwhelming so definitely lower down your options and take some time to contemplate as to what's going to be the best road for you what suits your needs what is it that you value what is it that you're looking for what feels right in your gut take some time to feel it out capricorn you're extremely intuitive and you already know deep down what's going to be best for you so try not to overthink it <laughs> easier said than done but really just calm your mind get grounded get in the present and the right option is going to be very clear for you but i feel like this is bringing in that that massive change and it's going to be super positive it's going to bring positive change for you where you can leave behind the past and leave behind all the crap that just did not serve you you can keep the wisdom you can keep the lessons right so you don't have to repeat the past but you, you do not need to go back to the past or return to how things used to be like there this is what <laughs> this is about walking away from the past she how she's just kind of like walking away carrying her cups and she's like i'm moving forward and i'm moving on with my life and this is clarifying death like what's coming to an end so it's like you might be looking back and reminiscing or looking back at some past times from you know it could have been a while back could have been way back maybe situations that had you feeling confused or maybe you felt like you had lack of closure but uh, i feel like in the month of july you're able to just lay this to rest and close that door once and for all and you're really focused on you know preparing for your future it seems like you're really investing in yourself in your <clears throat> excuse me my throat just got super dry i'm gonna get water real soon but it seems like you're investing a lot in your future and in your finances and just laying down a sturdy foundation so that it 
whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish here can last you a lifetime it's not going to be something that just starts and stops comes in and then leaves like this is going to be something that is long term okay this opportunity or this path that you're on this is leading to like longevity like this is not something that's just going to be easily wiped away this is like building a brick house not a, a house of straw right a house of straw we all know the story of the three little pigs right the house of straw gets blown away it's not going to stand it's not going to last a little rain is going to make it fall the little big bad the little <laughs> the big bad wolf can blow it down but you know what the house of bricks that's sturdy it's going to be there forever like you can't get rid of it but, so that's kind of what it feels here is like you're laying down some solid foundation for your future self and your future self is going to be so grateful and just like this is just going to be worth all the effort that you've been investing in capricorn and yeah you already know that deep down you already know that this is going to be worth it in the end and you're so close you're so freaking close so don't give up now okay let me get some water and then we're gonna get into the rest of this reading oh yeah and i forgot to mention at the bottom we do have the sun so these changes that are taking place it's super super positive so i love that for you and again you're not in really any rush you're just taking it step by step day by day feeling things out trusting the process it's awesome i like this vibe for you capricorn seems really nice <clears throat> I'm not taking that because i'm not even sure what cards i'm clarifying next i'm just shuffling the deck i think we're gonna look into uh let's take a look into the ten of cups reverse and see what that's about you could be offering some sort of support we have the five of cups coming out you might be trying to offer some sort of support or emotional um yeah emotional support you have the Ten of Wands coming out. Kind of the Ten of Cups reverse for Capricorn in the month of July 2022. Strength. Yeah, you're offering some kind of support. Maybe there's like a family member or someone that you're living with who's kind of going through um, some struggles, emotional struggles. And I'm not going to lie. It definitely seems like it's a bit burdensome. Like it's affecting your energy. You're extremely sensitive to others around you especially people that you care about and it kind of seems like you're absorbing their energy like a sponge and capricorn i just gotta be honest with you right especially for my empaths out there you gotta be very careful of the energy that you are allowing into your sacred space right because it's one thing to be it's one thing to call yourself an empath but that's also a strong sign you gotta set strong boundaries right that's the one thing Okay. It's great to be empathetic. A lot of us are, but what sometimes we lack are the boundaries in relationships and we end up taking on everybody else's shit when it's not meant for us to carry. So just keep that in mind, right? Keep that in mind. Whew, yeah, because, oh yeah, four of swords at the bottom is just like, you know, help out when you can, spread love when you can, support others when you can, but also know when it's time to shut off and put your phone on do not disturb and lock yourself away and spend some time alone and just like recalibrate your energy, Capricorn, because let's be real, it's not your job to save everybody. Um, you've got a lot of wisdom to share here with the higher fit. You've got a lot of higher knowledge that you are able to spread, right? to others and support others but at the end of the day you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink and so it's like you could be like just like looking at the the queen of cups to the ten of cups reverse it's like you're offering your love you're offering positive words and affirmation and healing and gentleness and support right that's the queen of cups she's extremely healing and she's like extending her heart out like hey i see something's wrong i see like you're upset i see something's bothering you i'm here for you i love you um let me help you right and so that can be a bit heavy here with the ten of wands that can be kind of you know can be a bit intense it's almost like you you're on the sidelines um watching someone kind of suffer anyways and it's kind of like it's affecting you um five of cups and strength and the king of pentacles so there's that five of cups and strength is like someone's kind of going through it and maybe this is even you capricorn maybe you're having your moments where you're fucking hitting rock bottom and having a bit of a breakdown and needing some extra support needing some extra help and um love and appreciation because it's like you're giving your heart you're giving your love but is there a return are there 
relationships who can support you and uplift you like you uplift others right and so that could be another thing you're realizing is like you're always there for everybody else supporting everybody and helping each other out but when you're going through it and you're needing a shoulder to cry on or you're needing an extra you know boost or support or whatever and you may wonder like who's really there for me because sometimes sometimes we don't get that energy back and you're like whoa <laughs> so sometimes it's like feeling a bit lonely i'm picking up on that energy here feeling a bit lonely feeling like you kind of just like you against the world so um and that can be intense but let's go back to the main message i was picking up on here we look at the king of pentacles he's holding this treasure chest right that's like you holding your love holding your healing holding all that you have to offer and you see these little vines kind of like grasping at your treasure right and you're willing to share you're willing to be like here here's some gold here's some gems here's some love here's some healing you have some healing and you have some healing and you have some healing and you have some love and you get love and you get you know everybody gets love but then when there comes a point where it's like i need to take a time out for me i gotta refill my cup man and then people are like Capricorn, give us more. Where's Capricorn at? Capricorn, I need you. Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. You're like, bruh, I need to chill. I need some time to myself, man. Like, so boundaries are so freaking important for you, Capricorn. That's just a strong message I'm picking up on. So that is something that you just gotta remember and just keep that up, all right? Keep that up. Um, let's take a look into justice. Two of cups coming out already all right and wow these cards are talking the four of cups if there's been some stagnancy within a relationship i do feel like that's going to change as well in july there's lots of different messages you guys so of course use your discernment but if you are in a relationship oh and this kind of ties in that ties in with what i was saying okay hold on hit the pause on the shuffling let's talk about this because this kind of just ties in with what we were just talking about with the boundaries and stuff and how i was saying you know you may feel like you're pouring so much energy so much love giving 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 but are you receiving are is there a balance i'm kind of feeling like there maybe has been a bit of a lack in a relationship this could be regarding romance friendship family i'm not really getting work it is more of like your intimate connections okay and so when we look at the two of cups we see one of these skulls is pouring and the other skull is receiving and i kind of feel like capricorn you're the one who's pouring into everybody else's cup right you're, you're giving you're giving you're giving you're giving and then the fact that we have then the four of cups come out you're like how come i give but i never get hmm and just feeling low and feeling sucky and feeling like you know questioning everything like questioning like is it me is it something that i'm doing maybe i'm just not worthy of receiving um maybe my expectations are too high you know making excuses things like that that's not fair that's not fair and you are kind of aware of that you're realizing like you know my cup is running dry my cup is running empty you see his cup how is his cups on his head <laughs> i love it i love this deck um how it's like empty it's well it's not empty but it's getting there it's like your wells are getting low and it's like someone is still expecting you to give 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 but you kind of need to put yourself as that first priority here and um there might even be the energy where you're feeling almost guilty for putting yourself first or not always being able to help everybody else out because you got to take care of yourself but then there's like that little voice in the back of your mind saying oh i should probably i should probably help them or they probably need me or they probably need my support or whatever even though i'm exhausted even though i'm drained i have to be there for them but it's like that can be very burdening Whew. all right anything else about justice because justice talks about lessons lessons that you know you got to learn through this life and maybe this is something that you're realizing in july is like oh look ten of pentacles we've had um three tens come up in this reading um four of wands okay that's positive and temperance reverse see there has been a lack of balance there has 
without a doubt, this is just confirmation with temperance coming out reverse. There has been lack of balance and um, that needs to be addressed. There's something about that needs to change. There needs to be the balancing of a scale. So if you've been feeling like you've been pouring all this energy into relationships and you haven't been receiving back, you need to make some sort of adjustment. You either need to set the boundaries, you need to give a little bit less of that energy and start investing that back in yourself. Like, I don't know what exactly you need to do Capricorn because it's going to be different for everybody, but there needs to be an adjustment here, all right? And this adjustment is within some sort of relationship, partnership, even family or home situation, okay? Um, now, unrelated to that little scenario, let's talk about the other um, messages coming through here since we're clarifying justice okay Sca balancing of the scales i feel like you're reaching this point in your life where you have achieved something and again this goes in with that celebration you're celebrating some sort of award or uh, achievement or some of you are actually receiving an award which is fucking amazing so congrats for you but yeah this is kind of like a checkpoint like take a take a time out take a break rest enjoy celebrate appreciate how far you've come yeah there's still some more work to be done or maybe not some maybe a lot but you're on you're on the right track and you're doing fucking amazing and keep it up and you know like i said this is talk about longevity this talk about long-term stability security financial security for those that have been starting like a new job or um making adjustments in your career I see like that's really positive and you can expect um, some really awesome changes regarding that as well. So, uh, and remember also another thing, patience is key. Temperance Reverse sometimes talks about impatience and something to keep in mind in the month of July is to be patient with yourself and be patient with the journey, right? Same with that Knight of Pentacles, which I think for the most part you are very patient there just might be some moments where you kind of get a little restless a little antsy kind of like come on speed things up speed things up and don't you worry because things are going to be picking up really really quickly very very fast i'm kind of feeling i'm kind of leaning towards the end of july you know heading into leo season since we have strength out here um i think that's when things are going to start to really pick up for you just before august like i'm feeling like last week of july is when things are going to get going like really quickly so enjoy the moments where you can relax and just kind of like lay low because i think you're going to be like it's going to be all hands on deck it's going to be full on capricorn so just keep that in mind but yeah overall really positive month for you um just remind reminder to set those boundaries put yourself first it does not make you a bad guy um it's not your job to save everybody you can when, you can help out when you can but um do not take on everybody's shit <laughs> okay capricorn i think we're gonna leave the reading here i hope that you enjoyed i hope that you found this helpful and insightful if you did let me know in the comments below if you want to book a private reading with me the information for that's in the description down below and yeah i'm gonna let you go thank you so much for watching i appreciate you make sure you leave a like comment subscribe it really does help out the channel and if you want to follow me on my instagram and tiktok you can find me there at jade stone tarot I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.